The speed of light is a constant equal to more or less 300,000 kilometers per second. This may sound simple, but let's add some elements in order to make it interesting. Let's imagine we have a car, a ball and two persons. One person is inside the car with the ball and another one is outside watching the car. Now the person inside throws the ball. For the person inside, the ball will have the velocity that he threw. But then the person that is outside will perceive the speed of the car plus the speed of the uh, ball. But then let's imagine the same scenario is, but instead of having a ball, the person inside has a laser pointer. In this case, the person outside will perceive the same speed as the person inside the car. But how can this even be possible? What happens is that space and time shifts. The universe has to make sure that this constant has always the same value, so it has to change the space or the time in order to make this happen. We chose special relativity because it's one of the most complex and interesting topics in physics. Therefore, we wanted to elaborate a video to help other people understand this theory that changes completely the perspective we have about time and space. Time and space are everywhere and in everyone's life. Therefore, we consider that everyone in the world should know of what they are surrounded. This theory implies how time and space are relative. Let's suppose that in the near future, there are two identical twins, Jesus and Jose. Jose decides to go on an adventure through space on a spaceship just for the sake of experiencing new things. The space twin gets all ready and hops on a rocket powered with antimatter that can reach speeds up to 90% the speed of light. And due to length contraction, or Lorentz contraction, a journey that was going to take 5 years actually lasts 4 years for him, because the length of space-time from Earth to Jose's final destination gets smaller and smaller through time dilation. The faster you travel through space, the slower time goes, and vice versa. The slower you travel through space, the faster time goes. That's why, whenever an object is depicted to travel with speeds reaching the speed of light, it is seen as squished. Its length in space-time is actually being squished, because length is shorter whenever you reach extremely high speeds. Now let's go back to Jose. After visiting distant planets and moons, he decides to return to Earth and tell humanity his experiences. His journey lasted 5 years in the Earth, and he at last meets his identical twin, Jesus. What are the differences between them? If Jose travels faster, he is actually younger than his brother Jesus by like 2 or 3 months, even though they were born the same day. That's the twin paradox for you. The main concept to be considered when studying relativistic phenomena is the frame of reference. It's a coordinate system that an observer uses to describe their perspective. It consists of three spatial coordinates and one temporal one, x, y, z, and t. A frame of reference changes depending on how the observer is moving so that velocities don't simply add up, and the speed of light is conserved. And so, simultaneity and spatial and temporal measurements are different in each reference frame. The special theory of relativity starts from two postulates. The laws of physics are the same in all inertial reference frames, and the speed of light in a vacuum is the same for all observers. Starting from here, time and space change when converted between different reference frames, using the Lorentz transformations. This causes time and space to behave as Newton described in normal situations. But near this period of light, the factor in the denominator changes time and space so that it is not mathematically correct to reach the speed of light, and even less so pass it. In conclusion, the theory of special relativity broke the traditional understanding of time as a constant entity, and proved that time in fact is relative to the observer. The theory had many applications and led to invaluable findings. For example, one of the most famous mathematical equation, energy equals to mass times speed of light squared, the equation that gave birth to the atomic bomb was actually inspired by special relativity. This theory is also used in real life matters such as GPS, electromagnets, color of gold, cathode ray tube, and more. However, there is some hassiness in special relativity when considering extreme energy levels. Because of this, special theories and adjustments need to be made to better describe these circumstances.